What is going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video we're going to take a look at the Payment 6 Queen's Pulse Rifle. Now this is a weapon I was rewarded from the Prisoner of Elders when I played the House of Wolves when I was at the Bungie headquarters in Seattle about three weeks back. Uh, I recorded enough footage to give you guys a half decent review of this weapon uh, which I'm going to do in today's video with a little bit of gameplay also but before we get into the video if you guys could leave a like I would appreciate the support let's try and reach 4,000 likes that would be insane if we could. First off we're going to take out this weapon's mods then we're going to take a little look at its in-depth PvP stats. We're getting straight into the weapon you can see it's a kinetic damage weapon. You can also reforge this weapon at any time if you want to roll its mods with the gunsmith and you can ascend it to a 365. Okay it's three sights we have the true sight IS, we have the focus lens FLS2 and we have the red dot ORS1. We then have for its first mod hip fire this weapon has bonus accuracy while firing from the hip. We then have skip rounds, ceramic jacketed rounds, ricochet on hard surfaces. The extreme density lets you carry more rounds in reserve. Added mass slows down weapon handling. We then have quick draw. This weapon can be drawn unbelievably fast and we have hand laid stock, increased stability, reduced range. We then have head seeker. Body shots with this weapon increase precision damage for a short time. So that's the mods this weapon comes with. Uh, now I'm not actually sure to be honest if this will have random rolls every time it is rewarded. That I'm not sure at this current moment in time. But taking a look at its stats you can see it's got a well, not too quick of a fire rate for a pulse rifle. Me personally I prefer the ones that shoot quicker. But there are that one or two in the game like the three little words and the red death that have a slow rate of fire but a super high impact. This sort is in between on both impact and rate of fire. It's got half decent range also, its stability is pretty good and so is its reload. It's got a standard magazine size of 24 in its clip. Now we're going to move on to its PvP stats. Now this weapon will shoot 6 bullets per second meaning it shoots 360 rounds per minute. About the same as the red death and the three little words. It will empty its entire clip in just under 4 seconds. PvP damage it will do 22 to the body and 33 to the head. With that head seat and mod active it will do 35 to the head. Damage per second it's 132 to the body and 198 to the head. Maximum clip damage this thing will dish out with a standard 24 bullets is 792 and its reload speed is 1.27 seconds. Now I did use this weapon for about half a game in the Trials of Osiris and I just wasn't feeling it, I really wasn't. I mean I do like Pulse Rivals in this game uh, but this one it's just like it was just under par with my favourite which would be the 123 Sizer G, the Three Little Words and the Red Death. I mean it's just not up there with them whatsoever. And we will compare it to these on screen now. You can see this little sort of graph I made uh, with all the repulse rifles I have at this current moment in time. I took them all into PvP last night, wrote down all their stats, I calculated all their damage output, etc, etc. And I made this graph. Took me flipping ages to do, to be honest. At the top, we can see we've got the exotics, then we've got the legendaries, and then we've got the one rare that I like, which is the strangest rifle, which is the fucking beast, by the way. And you can see the payment six is just under the three little words and above the one, two, three size of G. And you can see it's actually got the same rate of fire as the three little words and the red death but both the red death and the three little words do much more damage to the body and head on average the three little words being the most and plus it's got that head seeker as well as standard it's just an absolute flipping tank it really is but the payment 16 22 to the body on average 33 to the head 35 with that head seeker active on average just isn't up there with like the 36 of the red death headshot average and the uh, three little words 38 slash 41 headshot average it's just not up there then it really ain't and with the same rate of fire as well it's just a really really less powerful weapon it really is um, maximum clip damage is a lot less as well it's got a quicker reload than the three little words but that doesn't make up for its lacking power it really doesn't overall I'm giving this weapon a 7.0 rating I mean it's nowhere near up there with the best uh, pulse rifles in this game without a shadow of that maybe with a few better rolls of mods when you reforge it it probably could be better it could be better but as standard the one i had was just it wasn't really good whatsoever in the background now you're seeing a little bit of pve footage where i took it to the cosmodrome and just tore into some fallen so enjoy that let me know your opinion on this payment so it's actually a old weapon also i mean you could get this as a rare weapon when the old school queen was here in the tower uh, but as far as i know now 
all them rare weapons have been upgraded to legendary. But guys, thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed the video. Do drop a like. I do appreciate the support. And peace out until next time. Peace.